Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Ghiradoga Kai. Um, it's pretty good. In fact, it's really good. I just had kind of a hard time getting a good round with it, but I finally got one I liked, even though I, we do not end up winning. Um, as you can see, does has pretty good melee strength, though to be fair, that is a uh, 500 uh, Sturm Gallus as opposed to the 550 room we're in, because that's where the Ghiradoga Kai lives. Um, but yeah, it's got a beam machine gun like, uh, kind of like the standard Doga machine gun, except with a grenade launcher attached. Uh, it takes about six rounds to build stun, uh, something. Trying to hit that person with the grenade did not happen, but at least I didn't get myself knocked on my face, which I've had some jump shots end that way, uh, today, so. But not sure what that Gaplin's color scheme is, but it looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, but yeah, the grenade launcher is uh, not bad. It's a grenade launcher. It's fairly standard. Um, you probably just saw me bounce the Sturmfausts off the uh, scenery because even though I should know that that big uh, shield is on the left, I keep accidentally firing those, uh, uh, those Sturmfausts into a wall. It has roughly the same... I think it has... I don't know if it's exactly identical, but its enameled wire is definitely on par with the standard Ghiradoga, so... Here's where I get knocked at, uh, onto the ground. Yeah, that's right. I knew there was one. Way too much jumping. But it does have air dash, so I, I tend to like doing stuff with that. Just certain things just feel neat when you play this game, and that's one of them for me. But yeah, um, enameled wire, like I said, on par more or less. I just got hit by one myself, because looks like everybody got the Ghiradoga Kai, because it is just everywhere. But yeah, enameled wire causes heavy stagger, fires very quickly, re-readies relatively quickly. Um, the, the melee is fast enough that if you go from enameled wire to that, um, you actually have time to do a uh, neutral downswing, get a big chop in with the axe while they're down, and then get another neutral before they get up if you're fast enough. I think I do that in this round. I hope so. If not, it was one of the rounds I decided not to keep, and boy, I, I had a really hard time getting around with this. Um, that may be on me, that may just be, you know, the the mood, uh, you know, overall just like mood of the, uh, uh, of the game was kind of potato last night, but just I, yeah, I couldn't get anything going. So I tried again this evening, started to get frustrated again, but then I got this one, you know, Still kind of a uh, weird, rough round, but also just I actually, like, kill things and, and do useful things, which is kind of what I was shooting for there. There's the enameled wire. Big chop to death. And, yeah, uh, that is one thing I think I forgot to mention. I'm pretty sure the standard Ghiradoga can get two swings with the beam tomahawk. Only one on the, on the Kai. It can do one swing with the tomahawk uh, and two swings with the saber. Also has a different melee pattern you've probably seen. Uh, that stab, that that thrust is a is my uh, downswing, uh, but uh, it's pr it's pretty good. Um, that that single tomahawk swing does do a lot of damage on, uh, in and of itself, so it's it's worth using. Managed to get that Sturm Gallus again. I think I kind of end up being the bane of that thing's existence this round, but it, it was not intentional. I just you know. I put the axe where I can find places to put the axe. It's just how the game works. But uh, I tend not to, you know, make intentional targets of people unless it's a case of, hey, I have type advantage. And I do have type advantage against that, so... But also just, yeah, just it's where the opportunities turn up. And since it has to hit me with the shotgun or it's uh, slightly slower anchors to, stun, uh, to uh, stagger or heavy stagger me, it's, uh, you know, it gives me an opportunity. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I was happy to get it. Um, in case you didn't see, yes, New Gundam and Sazabi are in the, uh, recycle ticket stores. They may have, uh, cycled back out by now. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to ask them to put, like, the new thing for recycle tickets, you know, be in the store, like, the whole weekend or something. I think that would be great. But they are 700 tickets each, so just sit on your tickets and wait. They will, they will come back through, I'm sure. It, it can take a while sometimes just because there's so much stuff in this game, but they will be back. And, uh, yeah, uh, 
Like I uh, mentioned in the weekly update video, uh, Nurse Gundam put out a uh, primer on the Dolmel for people playing the uh, Steam version, because that's what they're getting this week, and that is a really fun suit, so I hope everybody wants it gets it, because it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good time. And, let's see, just w uh, looking to see what uh, which direction I should be going. Not that it matters now, because this is not a live voiceover, because I was having enough trouble playing, let alone talking. Uh, but uh, this is also my, the first round I, uh, reco I've recorded with my, and that was the Active Guard skill it has, which, like I was mentioning in the update video, has a really strong uh, damage reduction. And unfortunately, I just hit our gaplin because it was it jumped down in front of me just as I was about to uh, enameled wire uh, this other doga. So yeah, just did not work out too good. But there are still there we go landed that upswing downswing downswing with the uh, tomahawk and neutral and there we go yeah. So you can you can get a lot of melee damage in once. Uh, once something is, uh, you know, heavy staggered. I believe I built this for melee damage. I think I have uh, parts, uh, melee parts one through five on it. Uh, as many of those as would fit, which I think was all of them. But yeah, uh, it's, uh, it has good shooting stats, but yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, designed to go into melee once it's got, uh, got you stunned and then just, you know, wreck, uh, wreck your face. So that's, that's what I was trying to do with this. And for the most part, it worked. But yeah, this is... Uh, I was starting to say, this is... Uh, yeah, uh, like, I really... Uh, I was trying to get the person behind me to uh, come help with these people, because we need to group up, because if we're only fighting two, that person over there is going to be fighting three by themselves very soon. So, yeah, I was trying to get uh, their attention. Don't think it worked. But, uh, yeah, this is my first round. I'll get through the sentence of one day uh, on my new uh, DualSense controller. I, my uh, old one, the analog stick, started drifting left, so since my brother is, you know, a, a, a tinkerer of great renown, I uh, passed that to him so he could try and repair it and use it for himself. Uh, I think he declined to repair it and just uh, decided to use it on Steam where you can set dead zones and drift doesn't matter quite as much. But, uh, and I'm dead. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I got the new one. I got it in, uh, you know, a nice tasteful PlayStation 2 through 4 black and uh, I don't know I think it looks nice that way but uh, it also you know the sticks are new so the uh, uh, so the texture on the analog hasn't worn down yet they feel they feel good and precise the buttons all feel good you know there really is something to be said for getting a new controller and uh, I'm I'm glad I did shame it wasn't on sale for Prime Day though but yeah had to have it for uh, for work, so. All right, so here we are, and uh, that is the round, and yeah, we did not quite pull it off, but I think I managed to show off a lot of what the uh, Gyarodoga Kai can do. I didn't use Active Guard particularly well, but I did use it. Uh, top assist at 972, top damage at 118,000, so yeah. Like I said, I'm, I did build for melee damage, and it can do very well with a melee-focused uh, build. Five and three, I think that works, so... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I believe while it's called the Gyarodoga Kai, technically it's one of uh, Yutaka Izubuchi's uh, earlier drafts for uh, the Gyarodoga. So, but uh, I think... I'm kind of hoping we get the Psycho Doga to go with this soon, but uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, you know, all kinds of uh, you know good opportunities for stuff to show up soon. I hope.